So there's Dogfish Creek, <clears throat> a salmon stream. Sometimes it's bank full and just flooding, but not today. I don't know if I can catch that sky. Yeah, there's a little bit of that. Nice evening, Friday night after work. So I've been mowing to keep the uh, reed canary grass, which is this stuff here. Actually, this is last year's growth, and it's that tall dead stuff. It can be like seven feet tall in here. It's an invasive, really hard to get rid of. Oh my gosh. So once again, there's the Dodge. And the little DR mower just does a great job. Although, it gets pretty mucky up that road and uh, water gets in the little drive belt and it won't go. <laughs> but, you know. So, yes, I did suffer a little bit of scratchy scrapey. Nothing serious. The other arm's not too bad. So rest of me, I don't know. Not too bad. Okay. So I took this Nording, which has kind of a twisted stem. <laughs> Such a lightweight pipe. So it's one of my office pipes, you know, that I take out in the field. So I'm just finishing up this. Kind of too nice to be doing that, but it's so light. It's great. Mm. <sighs> yeah. Beautiful out at Big Valley. But I've learned you have to start early on this reed canary grass because if it gets two feet tall, ooh, it's kind of too much for that DR because it's so uh, so thick and kind of woody, wiry and just dense. So, so if I can keep it under control, I'll be good. This will be the last time I can, I uh, will mow before I go to Chicago. So I just wanted to make sure I got out here. And did kind of a final trim up. Yeah. So, there it is. It always feels like a job well done, but um, well, this stuff grows great, you know. It's just really black, wet soil, and it just, uh, yeah, it just grows and grows and grows. Unfortunately, out there is, uh, there's 20 acres of, no, 12 acres of meadow. And uh, I'd love to grow grass or something, but it's really too wet. So I'm not quite sure what to do with that. And I don't really have a lot of time at this point. You know, I'm working full time. So, oh well. You know, that's one thing about property. And the taxes are super cheap here because it's in agricultural status. Uh, and so, what were they last year? A hundred bucks, I think, for the year. So that's pretty easy to take. Makes it easy to not feel pressured to do something with it to make money. And then this adjoining piece right here with the fence line and the rack of an old house up there is for sale. A lot of people, I have a game cam up by the bridge there and uh, it captures all kinds of people looking at the property, but they want too much for it, of course. It'd be nice to have some nice neighbors though. And we would share this right away so they would help maintain it. That'd be kind of nice too.